Mr. Buffal and Mr. X and Mr. Z. All these people, they come by for a day or two to the plateau, and they come by with a theory, but all of it gone with the wind. But Beauval's theory didn't go with the wind. Even though careful not to mention his name, Beauval's ideas galvanized some Egyptologists to look more closely at the stars. I think that many of the most productive ideas are first of all looked upon as the man's mad. Secondly, all right, let's look at his ideas and show where the error is. And the third stage for many advances is, of course, I always knew this to be true. British astronomer Archie Roy helped found a new branch of science, archaeoastronomy, which studies how ancient peoples viewed the skies and expressed their awe and their monuments. It uses computers to recreate the skies of the past and find what they might have meant to ancient peoples. Unfortunately, there is a tendency for Egyptologists who perhaps haven't much training in the history of astronomy not to feel that heavenly events controlled the terrestrial events. The thing is that we've stopped observing nature. We don't look at the sky anymore. We don't look at the stars. We don't look at the sun. Some people hardly see sunrise in cities. And uh, the flood doesn't exist anymore here in Egypt. It's all controlled by dams and barrages. We don't observe. The Egyptians were the masters of observation. <laughs> 